Hey everybody, Spider V13. Happy Saturday, Saturday 14th. Uh, today's short video, take your vitamins. And as you can see here in this uh, video picture, that uh, you can see the uh, regimen of daily vitamins that I take. Especially now I'm, I'm middle aged, 50, coming up on 55, so I've really got to watch what I eat, get my exercise, good sleep, and good healthy dose of daily vitamins to avoid contracting that COVID-19. And early, uh, like in March and April of this year, I had been watching all this mess unfold and uh, I had stumbled across some uh, reputable doctors that had mentioned and suggested a certain daily regimen of vitamins to help, you know, combat uh, contracting the COVID-19 or if I you did get the COVID-19 uh, along with any medical assistance you would get uh, for COVID-19, these daily vitamins. And the things, the vitamins that were actually pointed out that were really supposed to be good would be uh, vitamin D3, vitamin C, and especially zinc. So as you can tell here that on a daily basis, I take vitamin C, also calcium, uh, magnesium, zinc, iron, D3, zinc uh, a complete multivitamin and that's what I take now, I don't take them all in one shot first thing in the morning that's just too much especially iron uh, this iron supplements kind of tough on my stomach so what I do is in the mornings uh, I'm usually up around 4 a.m. I will take uh, the multivitamin and iron and then just before bed at night I'll take the vitamin C the calcium magnesium zinc and the D3 and for the most part uh, doing this on a daily basis. I've got a lot of energy. I'm alert. Um, I, I'm healthy. Of course, you know, I've heeded to all the warnings this year and my uh, social interaction is at the absolute minimum. It's either Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, the local grocery store I go to, and then I'm home. I isolate. And which, you know, this whole year I've done really good with. And so there you go. Now, one of the things I wanted to say that I did notice is that uh, this year, March, going into April, I saw the price of vitamins in my area and grocery stores almost quadruple overnight. And so you've got to do your shopping around. Uh, one of the things that I have discovered is uh, the Kroger and uh, Spring Valley uh, vitamins seem to be somewhat affordable. There's other brands, I saw like 100 caplets of vitamin C at Smith's Marketplace yesterday for like $47. Now, forget that. So, I've levitated towards Spring Valley and Kroger. And the best thing to do is just jump online, shop around, find the cheapest vitamins, get them ordered, and get them in. So, along with just your regular prepping, especially with us being in flu season now, vitamins are critical. And yeah, they've gotten expensive. So, just like with prepping, you need to budget a little extra money per each paycheck to get yourself some vitamins. All right, well, that's my two cents. And so far as what I've said here, if anybody, feel free to fact check me on these vitamins. Post a note here on this. And if I'm wrong, we'll make a correction video. All right, with that being said, Saturday I got stuff to do. So as always, be safe, stay aware, but most importantly, be prepared. I'm out. Ciao.